will now discuss how to properly calibrate your 303 Sidewinder machine. When the machine is calibrated, both the cutter and tracer are sitting at the same plane. Always begin by hitting the red button on the side of the machine to activate the calibration mode. Then, fully tighten both the left and right jaws. This will create a valley between the jaw face plates. Position the valley underneath the cutter and tracer. Slowly lower the vertical carriage handle until contact is made with one side of the valley. Notice the calibration lights on the top of the machine will illuminate. Turn the calibration dial in the direction of the lit arrow. Continue to turn the dial until the green light is lit and the machine starts beeping. At that point, back off the calibration just to the point that the red arrow is lit. This will produce a slightly shallower cut and prevents you from damaging the surface of your jaws. The machine is now calibrated and the keys can be loaded and the depth of cut set. Start by inserting the original key into the left jaw. Remember to make sure that the key is properly gauged and is sitting flat in the jaws. Position the original key under the tracer. Lower the vertical carriage handle and position the tracer on the cut portion of the original key. Lock the vertical carriage handle in place and begin to trace the cut path on the original key. Trace over the cut path of the key to make sure that the movement is smooth. If any high spots or any resistance is found, Reset the tracer to those points. The depth of cut is now set. Now we can insert the new key to be cut in the right jaw. Again, make sure that the jaws are clean and that the key is properly gauged sitting flat in the jaws. Now that both keys are loaded, you can begin the cutting process.